Ann Arbor is a diverse, beautiful, and growing community that is well connected to our environment. Like all cities, Ann Arbor is experiencing impacts to the environment due to climate change. Ann Arbor is already experiencing changes, including warmer average temperatures. The number of high heat days is rising and putting our vulnerable populations, like the elderly, at risk. Shifts in native habitats and ecosystems. Ann Arbor's colorful maple, beech, and birch forests will likely change to oak and hickory forests by 2100. Increase in frequency of storms. There's a 38% increase in the strongest 1% of storms in the past 30 years. Increase in annual precipitation. Precipitation increased 25% in the past 30 years. How many Michigan stadiums can you fill with the precipitation that falls in a year? 117. That's 23 more than 30 years ago. How can we adapt? The city, residents, and businesses need to work together to adapt to the effects of climate changes across the community. The Community Climate Partnership includes representatives from local businesses, community organizations, nonprofits, and residents working together to implement Ann Arbor's Climate Action Plan. This partnership is an effort to help community members come together to reduce community-wide greenhouse gas emissions 25% by 2025 and to adapt to a changing climate in Ann Arbor. So climate change means to me from a community level, it means disruption. Uh, we know, you know, many of the stats about this, we know there's going to be increased storms, increased drought, many different kinds of things. And it means that the place that, that we live right now is not like uh, where we grew up. So when we look at projected changes in climate over the next hundred years, uh, we could see the Great Lakes region, we could see Ann Arbor falling into a very different climate than what we've known historically. So if we look at where the emissions from our community are coming from, less than 2% are generated by the city of Ann Arbor itself. Right? And our city is doing an excellent job in trying to mitigate uh, greenhouse gas emissions and things like that. But when you look at where to point the finger on climate change and what's happening locally and where our greenhouse gas emissions are coming from, it comes right back to our homes, to our business, our cars, our communities. I think people should think about being involved with climate work because that's the only way that this is going to work. It is not going to work, you know, if I have the best idea in the world about how to reduce my carbon footprint, it doesn't work if it's just me doing it. It only works when we do this together. I see this as an opportunity for people to come together and work on goals that affect the whole community. And we are lucky to have a climate action plan that lays out 86 actions that we can all come together and work together on. You know, climate change threatens all of us. It is something that is going to affect every person. I think if we get enough momentum, it's, I found in my life that it just starts to happen. You start to fold sustainability into almost every decision and it feels good. And when we get to that point as a community where everybody is sort of thinking about this as they go about their daily life, that's when we're starting to solve the problem. Maybe one of the most important things right now is to just to stay engaged with information that's coming from reputable sources around climate change. Ann Arbor can adapt to climate change in many ways. Talk to your neighbors and friends about the challenges Ann Arbor faces and what can be done. Visit a2energy.org climate to learn more about climate impacts and the Community Climate Partnership.